All right, I am ready to make some soap for my impression mat. And I was making another batch earlier and I just pulled off a little bit here to use for the lace part. So it's not setting up very quickly. So I'm gonna do the titanium dioxide and a hibiscus fragrance oil. Just a few drops here. Let's see if that doesn't speed up the process a little bit here. So far, not a lot of change. <laughs> so I'm just going to let that set up just a little bit more before I put it on the impression mat. The soap is finally at a very thick trace and you can tell it got kind of dark on me outside. So hopefully you can see this. I'm just going to smear the soap down into all the spaces here. And then I'm going to go ahead and make the soap to go on top. I chose the hibiscus fragrance because it's just kind of floral and girly and I think it goes well with a lacy type soap. And you can see it really doesn't take very much soap at all to fill up all the holes. So I'll just finish this up and then I'll come back in just a moment. Okay, I think I've got all of the places filled up with soap. So now the tricky part is getting this back into my silicone mold. I wanted to show you just for so you can see the light shining on there, how my silicone mold has kind of warped a little bit from making the impression mat in there. I'm assuming that's like a chemical reaction that happened with the silicone. So just in case you don't want to do the same thing to your mold. Consider that fair warning. <laughs> Alright, my design plan for this soap is to make a layer of blue to start with. Just a plain blue. This is my mica in the bottom of my cup. It's really pretty. And then I'm going to do something with this coral. And that's mixed with some of my soap oils, which have some hard oils in it, which are obviously getting cold and setting up. But I'd like to do some sort of a marble design with the coral and maybe a little bit of white. So we'll see how that works. So I'm going to pour off about three cups of soap for the blue and three for the coral. I'm 
may want to add some titanium to that. It's a little darker than I wanted. I still have about three cups of soap left. I'm going to make this all white. So let's start by adding some fragrance to the blue. Hopefully that's about a third. should be just the right thickness to pour over the top and still make a nice flat even layer. This orange is still pretty dark so I think what I'm going to do is create a couple new colors, mixing my white into the orange. my soap out of the mold and I'm just getting ready to peel back the impression mat. So this is the exciting part. I haven't seen this yet. That looks so awesome! That's going to take quite a bit of cleaning up. I had some extra soap along the edge over here and when I was trying to pull the soap out of the corner I had some issues on the side I think I can show you here where my corner got pretty banged up but overall this looks pretty neat I was concerned that there would be a lot of extra white soap and you can see some of it Get in a little bit closer here. You can see some of the white soap that's kind of marbled in with the blue, but really it doesn't take away from the effect at all, I don't think. It just looks really neat. So, very excited to have a successful soap here.